Thousands of dollars meant to help a local family with funeral costs for their son was allegedly taken by who was supposed to be a family friend. She set up a GoFundMe account, but that money raised never made it to the grieving parents. And now they have a warning for anyone who uses crowdfunding sites online. He was a high school athlete. He would have been 30 in November. Bronson Babcock, a Nampa native, passed away June 10th of last year while living in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He was a great kid. Like hundreds of thousands of Americans, the young Marine developed a dependence on drugs. He was clean the last time I talked to him. That ultimately claimed his life. Didn't make it. What the heck, you know. Bronson's dad, William, on the other side of the country, was then faced with how to handle his body. But we didn't have any money. Bringing him home would cost thousands. So then we decided that we'd have him cremated. Well, that was going to cost a couple of grand or whatever, and then have him mailed. William's in-laws fronted the funds to cremate Bronson's remains and have him flown back to Boise from the East Coast. A longtime friend offered to help raise money through a page on GoFundMe. I don't know anything about that stuff. I'm an old guy, right? Shortly after, the friend shared a small portion of the funds, around $300, with the parents with a promise that much more was coming soon. I just, I never bothered, I never saw an amount that was somewhere around over $2,000 in it. Days turned into weeks, then weeks turned into months, but with a debt to his in-laws, William finally tracked her down on Facebook, and the friend said she'd bring the money over the next day. The next day went by, and then it was going to be Another day and that that passed on and she disappeared off of Facebook and her phone number got disconnected. Unsure of what else to do, the couple filed a report with Nampa police, but since there was no written contract. We were SOL out of luck. And I thought, how how could someone do something like this and then get away with it? Focus on paying back his wife's parents, yeah. William picked up a side job working fields in Canyon County. I'll chip away at, you know, how much that they had to pay. Now he wants others to be aware of what could happen. Be connected to the account in some way so this wouldn't happen to you. You know, have your hands in there some way or other so that one person can't just do whatever with the money. 